Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, Procedure Newsletters, which is a relatively new plugin. It's been around for a little while, but it's um, it's only recently got a bit of uh, a bit of a star status. And you can see here, it's had 110,000 downloads. Probably in the last three months has been the majority of those. And you can see the stats for for this plugin right here. If you have a look at the, it's really blown out. Uh, the last few months, and that's that's because it is quite a, an excellent, probably the best uh, uh, newsletter plugin as far as aesthetics and um, controls that you can get. But there is a little bit of a little bit of mucking around with the newsletter. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I've set it up, and I just set one up just earlier today uh, on my Yakadanda site. So basically, the first thing you've got to do is when you set it up is you've got to get all this information right. So put an address in. You don't have to give your exact address. You know, I've, I've put Ave uh, Euclid Avenue, Miami Beach. I've set my email address. I've then also ticked when somebody subscribes, I want to get notified when somebody unsubscribes. Not that I can do anything about it, but I might untick that because I don't really care if someone unsubscribes. Okay, it's not as if I'm going to ring them up and harass them. So basically, I'll save these settings here. And then what we've got is the activation email. Now, do you want, when a person subscribes to your list, do you want them to um, have to get an email from you to say, click here to activate your email? Now, I would say yes if you manage big lists because having a, having a, a list that is, uh, having a list that's, um, that's curated well um, is always good, especially if you've got a bit, you've got, you're going to have lots and lots of people subscribing. But if you're not going to do that and you're just going to have um, a handful, you know, 20, 30, 40, then you don't. Just turn that off. So as soon as they subscribe, they're, they're automatically subscribed. And then we've got the sending method. Now, I've chosen SMTP because I pay for a service which basically routes the emails to a verified um, uh, SMTP service, which is a route, uh, an email service that basically all most of the providers around the world have got it as a whitelisted, white which means, yes, these are verifiable emails. Um, there are rules with that. I mean, if you're sending out spam lists, then I wouldn't join an SMTP, SMTP group. But if you're not, you, can, uh, uh, you should surely do that. Okay. Otherwise, you can route it through your Gmail account and you put your username and password login, which that's not mine, or you can just route it through your own website. But you want to test this, okay? Okay, all right, now, I've chosen this one, and then if we go to the advanced settings, you just have to read through all of this, but basically, you put your email addresses to and from, make sure that's turned off, um, and away you go. Now, the premium upgrade tells you a little bit more about what you can get for the premium upgrade, which you get a whole heap of themes that you can choose from. But it is $99, which is not, I don't think, it's an extreme amount of, of, of money. Um, but it's uh, it's a pretty good service, okay? So, um, you know, the premium upgrade could be a good idea. If, you, if, if you've got more than, say, a couple of hundred uh, subscribers, then I'd say premium upgrade is for you, okay? Anything below that, I wouldn't bother. Okay, so now what we've got is we've got all the settings done. So now what we want to go to subscribers, and we want to create a subscription list. And as you can see, I've got, uh, I've got two lists, okay? I've just created these just now. Um, and you can add subscribers to the list. So basically, you can click Add Subscriber, and you can add them one by one, okay? Or you can import subscribers, and if you set them up, you can have them, you can copy it, the name, but it shows you there, that's how it should be, okay? That's how you should name them. So the email address, semicolon, and then the name, okay? Email, it shows you here exactly how to do it. So you can add you know, a couple of hundred there if you wanted to. Uh, it does give you a warning here to say that these people should be, um, they should be some of people who are, who are willing to be subscribed to your, uh, to your website, okay? So that's how you would import a list, okay? And then one, after you've imported, it will ask you which list you want to add it to, okay? Um, I've, got, I've got two lists at the moment, which is just, which is just the synced WordPress one, which is the ones that are synced into my WordPress. And then I've got a Yakadanda subscribe one I just set up. Okay, so once you've got all that set up, you're ready to go to start making a newsletter. So what you'll get out of the box is, is a, a newsletter that you'll have to edit. 
And this basically, it's, I've just renamed it Yakadanda Newsletter, but you'll see one already in there. Okay, so what you do is you edit it, which I've already done, and I'll show you how you can now make your, uh, make your uh, newsletter. Okay, so the first thing you can do is you can add your logo. Okay, and how you do that is you upload your images for your logo and all your other images here, and then you can just drag and drop that. Okay, I'm not going to do it now, but you can drag and drop the images you've uploaded into that. And you can even resize them, okay, if you wanted to resize it, okay? All right, the next thing you can do is you want to add content, okay? So you can add plain text, you can add a, a WordPress post. And all you do to add a post is you just drag and drop it where you want it and wait for it to upload. And I'm going to add this one. And you'll see, I've already added this one before, but you'll see how it brings in the title and a, a part of the description. But what you want to do is you want to, I don't want that image taking up that all that space, so I'll bring that back down, and you'll see, there it is, make it a smaller, I want it to match the height of the text, like I've done with this one here, okay? So that's pretty perfect, so I'll basically remove this one, and I'll remove that image uh, altogether. Okay, so I've got one post, then I've added another one and another one, and then I've added my social networks. And your social bookmarks, you just drag and drop your social bookmarks where you want them. And then I'll ask you to put in your, if you've already put them in before, and then you can, it'll ask you what style of uh, social icons you want. Okay, I've chosen this one. Okay, so, and then I've put in some, just some text. I've chucked in a few dividers in amongst it. You can create your own dividers if you like. And then it automatically brings in the address. Okay. And that's basically how you build your, your, uh, your newsletter. And once you've got that newsletter built, you can reuse that all the time. You can change the styles, which is the, ch the change the colors of everything, including the fonts. You know, I might, I'll, I'll probably go with a Georgia style, because I like it. And you'll see, you'll see that, it, uh, that it automatically starts creating all the text in the font style that you liked. There you go. So all of that's been created and it's ready to go. Now, before you start, you can install themes, okay? And if you've got the premium version, you can install all of them, but if you've only got the basic version, you'll notice it's premium only, okay? This is a, this is a good one here, that, that one there. You can install that one and you'll see you can install any type of these that is, is not premium, okay? Okay, and there's two pages of them. And they add more and more as they go. But once you've installed them, it will appear here and you can just drag and drop that over to there, okay? I've actually installed this one and edited it to look like this. And because my colors are fairly plain, I don't really need too much um, razzmatazz, okay? So there's your styles, there's your images, and then your content, okay? That's pretty much it. That's how you basically create a, a newsletter in uh, using Cisia in uh, in WordPress, and then it's time to test it out. So I'm going to send a test email to to this address here. Send a preview, and it's telling me now it's been sent. Okay, so now I, what I do is I go check, and you'll see there's the the email there. I click on that. I display images below, and there you go. That's the, the newsletter that was sent to me. Okay, and you can see it was sent by SendGrid. Okay, beautifully done. How easy is that? Look, it's, it, let's be honest, it's about 10, 20 minutes, maybe half an hour of setting the first one up. But once you've got the first one set up, you're right to go.